Hi everybody, it's Mr. Kurt Nielsen. It is a beautiful day, but the wind is picking up. You can feel it. It's gonna start raining late, late, late tonight and everyone's aware of it. They're getting ready and I got lots of things to do. Do you have 15 minutes? Let's have some fun, okay? Oh, if you're feeling down as dirt, come on and have some fun with Kurt. We'll paint a bit and horse around. I'll pick your spirits off of the ground. All right, friends. Let's make some art. All right. Now, it is very windy today. Well, it could be windier, but when you are outside and you are using ink pens, such as this Sharpie that I'm using right now, or if you're using watercolors, it's a lot harder. Why? Well, the ink pen will get dried out by the wind and by the sun. So they'll go very, very quickly. Uh, so I would recommend you doing the same. Move as quickly as you can. And also know that you will lack the control that you have. Say you're inside. You're inside and you have perfect temperatures and you know, you just go for it and then your stuff will dry when it dries. But when you're outside, the sun's gonna do its thing. The wind's gonna do its thing. So you're kind of at the mercy of nature at that point. And if you're seeking perfection, this is not the place to do it. But if you're just looking to experiment and have a good time, hey, knock yourselves out. Obviously, I don't have a lot of structure here, but today, there's um, a lot of people outside getting ready because tonight it's gonna rain. They're doing as much yard work as they can and, uh, and other things. And of course, I'm out making videos. It's supposed to rain early, early this morning, uh, tomorrow morning that is, and I might go outside and uh, make an attempt to, uh, to paint underneath the tree for you. I think that might be kind of fun. If you hear some flopping around, there's another painting that I did over here. It was a nice painting too, and oh, you should have heard the speech that I gave. It was so inspiring, and yet I forgot to turn on the camera. <laughs> I never said I was great at this, but uh, I'm doing the best I can, so. All right, so here we are feeling out the process, just kind of doing whatever comes. Uh, no real theme going on here yet. Um, but everything that kind of happens in the environment here, the birds, I heard a buzzsaw going by, today is trash day, you know, all those things kind of come into play. They will affect, oh, it's flopping around like crazy, but that will affect how you, um, how you think, uh, probably without you even knowing it. Um, yeah, I mean, really, like, the wind and the sun will evoke a certain kind of color. It might ev evoke a little memory in you and that will come out on the canvas. You know, they always say that an artist can't hide who they are, they can't hide their influences, and heck, why even try? But it's, it's totally true. So, I mean, sometimes, you know, people can look at your paintings and tell what the weather was like. Does that sound strange? Well, maybe it is strange, but who cares? My art's strange and I have fun with it. And that's what I want you to do. That's why I'm doing this series. I want you to have fun. To me, art is the one thing that I can always lean on, no matter what, no matter how I'm feeling, art will always carry me through. Um, I've had times where I've been really down and depressed and, and didn't know where to go and um, when in doubt, I just went to the canvas, you know? And it's a, it's a great way to escape, especially with all the crazy things that go on in the world. I mean, you step out your door every single day and wonder like, now what? But at least here you have a measure of control and you're creating something positive that everybody can benefit from, namely you. So keep doing your art, whatever medium appeals to you. You're probably wondering why I picked watercolor. Well because it's cheap, because it's portable, and I like the quality of it. I like the, um, I like the vibrancy of the color. I like the textures as you layer. Uh, so there's all of those really good things that are going on there. Um, but it's something that really resonates within me. I went through a period when I was doing gouache painting, 
Um, and gouache is wonderful because that has a real solid quality to it. Um, really bright colors, um, not always the cheapest. So I think maybe that's why I gave up on that. Um, but um, when I was really learning to paint in high school, um, we did a lot of acrylic painting. Um, and acrylic is fun and I like that because it would dry so quickly. But the only downside to acrylic is um, you can't blend. It's not like, you know, you've seen like the classic artist out with his canvas and of course those are oil paints and you can blend and, and smudge and everything, but uh, not so much when you're doing um, acrylic. Acrylic kind of is what it is, you know. So I'm gonna just stick with that there. No, wait, I'm gonna put some teeth on here. You'll notice I put faces all over the place. That's kind of my thing. All right. Yeah, I love my faces. <laughs> okay. But this is my personal style that I've developed and I want you to develop your own style too. I mean, certainly you're gonna be copying people. Certainly you're gonna be, you know, it's like when, you, when you're in school. You know, you're going to be listening to your teacher and the teacher says, okay, we'll draw this. And then that's what you do. And you look at other people painting because you don't know what you're doing. And that's what inspires you. So you kind of copy them. You look at magazines and books and that's what you do because you have nothing else to reference and you got to learn, right? But eventually your own style will come out and your own style will come out just from the doing. The more you do it, the better it gets, the easier it gets, you know? I try not to be too nitpicky. Again, I don't have control out here. So I, I understand completely when I'm outside, the lines aren't gonna be perfect. They might not be as smooth. You know, they might not blend like they would inside. They, they are what they are, you know, and that's okay. Just don't, don't be afraid of it. If you're a control freak, <laughs> don't paint outside and don't use watercolors. It's that simple, you know? But if you want to stay inside under a controlled environment, hey, that's, that's probably more your speed. But everywhere I go, I like to paint. I painted here, throughout Europe, you know, I, I just, I, I take it with me and I just feel out the moment, you know? And I can feel my environment every time I paint. It affects the colors, it affects the line, it affects my movement, you know, just like, you know, people will ask you, hey, what do you want for dinner tonight? You wanna, you wanna have some Mexican? Oh, I'm not in the mood for Mexican. Well, why, why are you not in the mood for that? Well, you know, our moods are funny, but yeah, let, let, your, let your true voice come out on the canvas. Don't edit yourself. If you feel like doing purple, if you feel like doing pink, whatever, do, do, do what feels right, you know? That's, that's the right answer. It's your art, no one's telling you what to do. Unless it's for an assignment for class. Sorry, that paper's flopping around. Yeah, unless it's an assignment for class where your teacher gives you specific parameters, well, that's a different thing entirely. But this is not an assignment. The only challenge is for you to better yourself. Yeah, okay. I'm going kind of light on color here. And of course, you know, you start with the base and then you layer and then you get all the great textures but the other wrinkle here obviously being outside is the fact that it's going to get affected by the environment and that's cool too i'm going to take you to some different environments different locales where we'll be affected by the wind maybe some of the rain oh gosh that's going to be fun but heck try it you know i i always laughed when I started, you know, and people think, well, I gotta be an artist, I gotta be serious. And they think, you know, oh, I gotta have these fancy tools, maybe a beret, you know, or something stupid, you know, those, those crazy old ideas, you know, like I gotta look like an artist and I can't just have cheap stuff to make art. I gotta step up my game. Well, let me tell you, I've had those expensive things and they don't necessarily make you creative. They're nice, but I've gotten more pleasure and produced more work using the cheapest of supplies. It's really just how you do it. The paint set that I use is by the Prang people. This is a little portable one that I have. It doesn't have a lot of colors in it. You can see this is extremely limited, but who cares? It doesn't mean my creativity is limited. No, my, my creativity is limitless. 
Yeah. So, and I suggest that you use every ounce of paint that is given to you. Find a way to employ it somehow. You know, don't don't have a don't have a tray that has you know half used and whatnot, and then throw it out and think, oh, I can't use this. It's not the full range. No, it just it just means it's a more limited palette that's making you more challenged. I think it's fantastic. In fact, I love to do that. I have little trays that that just like have little blitz and blurps in there, whatever that means. Um, and and out of that have come some of my best paintings. Because yeah, you're like, oh, well, all I have is brown and, and white and, and dark green. Well, mix it together, play with the colors, you know, have fun. This is meant to free your mind. That's the whole idea. Free your mind, free soul, it's time. Wait, that's a B-52. Free mind, free soul, it's time. Yeah, I forget. It's, is it? I forget what album that's from. Anyway, I love it. All right, kids. Well, we got about five minutes left, and you can see I'm doing the whole purple and and uh, and yellow thing. And you're you're thinking to yourself, oh, why are you doing that? Are you taking the conservative route? Are you using the natural complementary colors because you think you have to? And I say no. It's just because I, I happen to have it in this tray and it works for this composition. And you'll do the same thing. Break the rules, kids. Break the rules. Yeah. And you'll, you'll see that I just kind of find whatever pocket works and I just kind of feel out the shapes and, and make it what I want it to be. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to create motion that's always the big thing with me being an animator try to create motion and try to create depth and try to tr create new worlds we already got a world that we see every single day it's out in front of us i try not to replicate it i try to express the one that's inside my head and the, the one that comes out through my feelings and i hope you can do the same thing too but the more you do it the easier it becomes don't feel encumbered by anything. Just just be an artist. Everybody's an artist. That's one thing that, that I learned early on too when I was in school. Everybody's an artist. Even, yeah, that's Bob Winquist was such a big influence on me. He used to say, no style is a style. And we used to think he was crazy, but he's absolutely right. No style is a style. You know, you think of an art director who's trying to create a character for a movie, trying to create somebody who has no style whatsoever, and they have a specific narrative that, that, that comes out. So, therefore, it is a style. You know, the way they eat, the way they think, the way they move, it is a style. Maybe not a style that you like, but hey, it's a style. So, but the trick is to get more refined by, by doing it and making it closer to the truth within you right i know feel this out man feel this out okay so i'm just taking this anywhere i want it to it's almost like a candy cane feel now isn't it oh yeah all right well we got just about two minutes left obviously you're not going to see the completed painting here you're going to see that on my instagram account and you can find the link down below very easy you will see that and um, i will be back next week of course with more shenanigans this is fun painting in the wind i haven't done this in a while usually drives me crazy like if i'm really trying to control the situation it drives me up the wall but when you surrender to the moment as i'm doing right now you're like wow look, look what just came about this is fun i heard a saw over there but that's okay too. I'm enjoying that. See, see. Oh, look over here. See, I splurt. Oh, that's okay. Watch. Oh yeah. Now that's that. Now that's part of the fun. Here, I'll add to that. You want to see a mess? I'll give you a mess. I'll give you a mess. I'll give you a mess. All right, guys. Well, we got about one minute left. Um, as always, just keep creating. Every day when you wake up, find a little time, a little pocket of time where you can just do you. Doesn't have to be big, doesn't have to be great, but just do it. And the more you do it, the happier you'll be. Here's your 15 minutes. I'll see you later, guys.